now, I don't know how long I've lived on this island for, but I will say, I have seen and experienced a lot of interesting things on this railway. Some good, some not so good, some great, and some just plain dreadful. But they were adventures nonetheless, and they were some of the most important parts of my life. Now you all know the stories by the great Reverend W. Audrey, and before you ask, yes, they are true. Thomas and his friends have told me so. But the question is, do you know all the stories? Well, I'm here to say that, no. No, you don't. And while I haven't met the great Reverend himself, I hear he was a good man and a great friend to most on the island. Yes, I said most on the island. But that's a story for another day. But getting back on track, while I'm not a writer, I think it seems right to tell you the stories you never knew about, ones that didn't make it into the railway series, or just ones you've never been told before by any of the engines, or anyone that lives on the railway in general. There is a quite a lot of stories, let me tell you. Now I'll be speaking from my experiences, or a few stories I was told back in the day by one of my engine friends, or one of my engine friends would tell the story but from their perspective. Either way, there is a lot to tell, so let's not waste any more time. With that said, my name is Blue, and this is the Untold Stories of Thomas and Friends. Come take a ride with me, and let's go beyond the sea. What's waiting for on the side of you and for me now? We hear the steam and whistles, and we say, Hey ho, let's go! Ayo, hey, whoa, this train's rolling, ayo, hey, whoa, rolling on the way down. Because we're telling the untold, ayo, hey, oh, this train's rolling, ayo, hey, whoa, rolling on the way down. Because we're telling the untold stories now. Hey yo, whoa, this train's rolling. Hey yo, whoa. Rolling on the way down Because we're telling the untold Ayo, this train's rolling Ayo, rolling on the way down Because we're telling the untold stories now On the island of Sodor, everyone has a family. Not just the people of Sodor, but the engines and rolling stock as well. Annie has Clarabelle. Gordon has the Flying Scotsman. Even the trucks have their brothers and sisters. But road vehicles, like Birdie, have family too. Even if you're not on Sodor, you still have a family. But the most well-known though, are the twins. Harry and Bert. Donald and Douglas. And of course, Bill and Ben. However, there's a pair of twins that not many know about. Of course, I'm talking about the two diesel twins, Splatter and Dodge. While impulsive, the diesels mean well, and they are nice, but sometimes they don't always pay attention to what they are doing. Sometimes, they can play tricks to which normally get them into trouble. And while they don't mind the steam engines, they don't love them either. 
very unique bunch. But they do whatever they can to get by the time hack. He knows as long as they're really useful, he doesn't mind keeping them around, even if they try to help Diesel 10. One day, the two brothers were shunting at Edward's station. Edward needed to take a train to Brendam Docks. Okay, Dodge, you get the trucks on that siding, and I'll get the rest of them. After this, you can take a break. Ow, oh dear! Good, I need a rest. I can't feel my train behind me. You don't have a train, you idiot. It's right over there. Oh yeah, right. Well, at least I won't have to worry about it when I'm done. Man, his face was never screwed on just right when he came out of the factory. When Dodge was coupled up, he didn't know that the shunter hadn't released the brakes on the trucks. He pulled as hard as he could. Gosh! These trucks are heavy! Ah. Go on! Go on! Go on! <laughs> oh gosh! What's in these trucks? He kept trying, but he couldn't do it. Then, Dodge had an idea. If I can't pull the trucks, then I'll push them. I don't think that's a good idea, Dodge. But before Splatter could finish, Dodge was already doing it. I can do it! I can do it! Hey, I think it's working! Then, there was trouble. The workmen saw what Dodge was trying to do, but one of the workmen released the brakes before one of them could tell Dodge to stop. Dodge was going way too fast. Splatter! Help! But there was even more trouble. The signalman had fallen asleep and left the point switch to the wrong track. The track was heading right straight into Edward's station. Dodge applied his brakes, but it was too late. Look out, Dodge! <laughs> While there were some injuries, no one had died, but there was worse to come. But the worst part of all... Are you okay, Dodge? Yeah, I'm fine. But the station isn't. That Edward station was destroyed. Well, we're in big trouble this time. We? This is your doing. You take the blame, not me. You should have told me not to push then. I did. But you stupid brain didn't listen. And now look what you've done. Both teachers were very upset with each other. I'm sorry to say it didn't go much better once the time had arrived. I demand to know, who did this immediately? It was Splatter, sir! He did it! I told him to be careful, but he didn't listen! Splatter was horrified. Me? I didn't do this! It was you! Did not! Did too! Did too! Did not! Enough, both of you! The fact of the matter is, one of my stations is now destroyed. And there's a few injured people as well. And let me tell you, the medical bills will not be cheap. You two made a bad, memorable accident today, which I'm sure the press will want to get their hands all over on. Until I figure out what to do with both of you, you each will be working alone, far away from each other. You will have new assignments tomorrow. Until then, both of you can stay in your shed and think about what you've done. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hmm... I'm sorry about what happened to your station, Edward, but I can assure you, you will have it back up and running soon. I don't mind about that, sir. I can wait. But I do want to know this. How can this happen? I may not know both Diesels like Diesel 10 did, but sir, I've seen them enough to know their character, and that's why I have a feeling this wasn't their fault. Regardless who thought it was, Edward, this was a terrible travesty. And I need to make sure people forget about this as soon as possible. Let's hope this never happens again, Edward. I agree, sir. I agree. But at the same time, sir, I still can't help but wonder. 
Well, that was a day. Hopefully tomorrow will be better for us. Shut up. Just shut up, Dodge. Shut up. Just shut up, okay? Whoa! What truck hit your buffers? Yours did, you buffoon. I can't believe you. I just can't believe you told him I did when it was your doing, Dodge. Okay, I will admit, that was bad on my part. At the same time, the station was destroyed, and I was freaking out. Plus, you would have done the same. No, I wouldn't. I can't believe you think I'd go behind your back. One, we're diesels. It's what we do. Two, yes, you would. It's in the brother's handbook. What? What handbook? You know the Prince of Egypt? It was made by the same company that made Shrek. I think it's called Pixar? First off, that's a movie. Second, you're a plain idiot. Third, Pixar did not do those movies. It was a company called DreamWorks. The rivals. Pixar did Toy Story and Cars. And for some reason, Brave. And for some reason, The Good Dinosaur. Anyways, think of the trucks and engines. It's kind of like that in this case. You know, like us. What do you mean, rivals? Easy. A brother does not backstab another one. Because they stick together. Two peas in a pod. Unlike what I think you are. It's more of a fly that will not just buzz off my face. You don't want to be brothers? Well, you know what? Fine. We don't have to be brothers. Do you know what? I don't need you, and you don't need me. So unless anything changes, which it won't, I hope we never see each other again. And I wish you the best of shame. Farewell, jerk diesel. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to be brothers either. Who needs you? I definitely don't. Go away. Find a new brother. Someone who you actually like and care about. I'll make sure you do the same and go somewhere far, far away. And somewhere where you actually will be wanted. Because you're not wanted here and never will be. I don't need you. I don't need you either. I, I don't need you. Nobody does. I don't need you. I don't need you. And nobody does. I, I don't need you. I... I don't need you. The next day, Stan Hat went to see the diesels in their respective sheds. You'll be working with Percy in the yard. Please no nonsense today. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. And Dodge, you'll be working with Salty at the docks. Please do your best to stay out of trouble. Understood? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. So the diesels went to their respective jobs, and surprisingly, it went well for both of them. They got to know each one another a little more closely than they normally would. So much so, that Dodge didn't mind talking about his feelings a little while later in the day. Dodge was resting when Salty pulled up alongside him. Ah, what's the matter, matey? You look a little down more than any diesel I ever seen. Well, long story short. And Dodge told Salty about everything. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And that's what happened. Salty was shocked. You really put yourself in a jam, Dodge. I didn't know what to do. You wait and listen. Don't think it was all my fault, Salty. Splatter had his buffers in this too. If you didn't rush and pay attention to your brother, none of this would have happened. No, I won't. He said a lot of mean things to me. I'd rather be in the scrapyard resting all day than say sorry to him. It sucks because we never had a fight before. No, he wouldn't. You just said he did, just so you wouldn't get into trouble for it. Whether or not, you never lie or blame on someone else. Especially 
if they had nothing to do with it. You may be a nice diesel dodge, but engines like you that give us diesels a bad name. Next time when you see Splatter, tell him you are sorry. Our feelings get hurt, me hearty, but it always happens because of a friend, or in this case, a brother, just cares for himself, and not the one he loves. Sometimes, in order to protect the ones we love, we have to tell the truth. Whenever it's happy, or sad, or gets us into trouble, or even hurts us. It may not help you in the long run, Mihati, but it'll help you in the long run for someone who has a brother. And for someone who has a brother, keep in mind, Dodge. Unlike me, you have a brother. I recommend you try to keep it that way. These things happen, Dodge. That's life. Next time you see Splatter, do yourself a favor and say sorry. Meanwhile, Splatter was enjoying his time with Percy. You know, while I'm not fans of your steam engines, you definitely know how to work hard. But I do have to say, it is fun working with you. It's incredible. Uh, thanks Splatter, I think. No problem. Right then, let's get back to work Splatter. Already? Could we be able to take a few more minutes? Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. You guess? You guess? Don't you steam engine take long breaks, like 5 to 30 minutes worth? Not that long. Yes, we have to rest, but not to that point. In that time, we could be taking a little nap, how Gordon does. Yeah, I was about to say that. Your big blue engine does that. Yes, but it's because his jobs are very important, and fearful take up a lot more energy from what we do. So his naps are really important. It helps restore Gordon's energy. Sadly, his ego, too. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's very true. Are you okay, Splatter? You seem off a lot today. And it's funny because I barely know you. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I was just... Thinking. Thinking of what? Nothing. It's fine, Percy. Come on, let's get back to work. Okay, Splatter. Hmm... I wonder what's going on. Later, Percy had to take a heavy load of stone to the docks. When he arrived, he saw Dodge working in a siding. Hmm... Salty, why is Dodge look upset? Because, Mihati, Dodge feels bad for something he did to Splatter. Plus, he misses him. How do you know that? It's part of a twin. Every twin goes through this. At least once in their time. And this time, it's their turn. Maybe that's why Splatter was upset. What do you mean, Percy? Splatter was upset while working today, when we were at Naffet Station. Bill and Ben went by, and so did Don and Douglas. And he looked at Andy and Clarabelle when Thomas was going by as well. That explains it then. He misses his twin. But they can't get back together, so Tom Howe won't allow it. He will now. What do you mean, Henry? After some investigating, it turns out the signalman who was nil fell asleep and forgot to switch the points. And because of that, the accident happened. So Tom had fired him the same night. Well, that's an odd time wreck again fired on your first day. Sucks to be that sailor. <laughs> well, it sucks to be him, but the good news is Splatter and Dodge can now get back together. But they won't talk to each other, Mihati. Maybe not, but I think I can think of a way how they can. What were you thinking of, Percy? Well... How? How? Don't push me! Don't push me! Go after him, Dodge! I can't! I just ran out of oil! Oh crud. Okay, don't worry, little green engine. I'm coming! Hold on, Henry! It's Percy! Whatever! He's green! That's all that matters! Hang on, green engine! Well, he's not wrong. Ugh, shiver me timbers. Oh, please hurry!
Percy? Splatter, help! Don't worry, Percy. I'm coming. Splatter? What, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? Trying, Trying to, to save, save Percy. the little green engine! Green engine? You mean Percy? Whatever. Regardless, I'm trying to save him. Will you help me? Yes, of course. But we have to do it fast. We're almost near the harbor. Dodge, get behind the brake van and couple up to it. Then try to brake. I'll do the same behind you. Right! Okay, now break even how to dodge. Got it, Splatter! On, on, faster, faster! Whoa! I can't stop! I can't stop! One, two, three, break! I am trying, but the trucks won't stop pulling! One more time, Splatter! One, Two, three, break! No! That was a close one. I almost ended up in the water again. Whew. Henry will not stop talking if that happened. <laughs> close call. Oh, crap! Oh, <laughs> oh mother, mother gun. Sorry, Sorry Percy. Percy, we'll, we'll get, get you out. out of the water. Sorry, Sorry we couldn't stop, stop Percy. you, Percy! It's okay. At least you two tried. And I've seen you made up as well. Well, well uh... Wait, you wait, knew? You knew? Maybe. So this was a plan to get us back together? Yep. Wow, you know what? Maybe you steam engines are not that bad after all, but we diesels are still better. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just then, Henry arrived to bring Percy to the works. Well, 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 little Percy. I didn't expect you to be in the watch of this time of the hour. It's also nighttime. If you're planning on going swimming, at least do it during the day. Plus, unlike last time, as I said many years ago, I hope you enjoy the water. Oh, shut up, you old square wheels. Why don't you go hide in the tunnel again? But Henry just ignored him and pulled him away to the works. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I said, Dodge. I know, Splatter, and I am sorry too for blaming you for the accident. It's okay. Maybe we could learn from this and try to be better brothers. We still care for each other, but we still get each other's throats like most brothers do. Maybe as time goes on, we'll understand the whole brother thing, because this has never happened to us before. Good idea, Splatter. Very good idea, you two. You both could learn a thing or two from each other. That being said, I'm sorry for blaming you and getting so mad. While you both still have a lot to learn, I'm very proud to call you a part of my railway. That being said, you should still keep what happened in 2000 hush hush. Understand? Same for this accident if you can. Both of them agreed. Yes, yes sir. sir! Of, of course, course sir. sir! But we all know what happened in 2000, don't we?
Those teasers are gonna wanna wish they never betrayed me. <laughs> Later, Thomas came back from the steamworks. As he chopped in the timber, he was very cross. I don't understand it. It's trucks and signals. One or the other always gets us trouble on this railway. Why can't it just be trucks? Edward was annoyed. You know, Thomas, being a signalman isn't as easy as you think. Second, keep it down. Blue's trying to sleep. I don't mean to be disgraceful, Edward. It's just, if I was a signalman, I could do better. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Thomas. Being a signalman isn't as easy. In the morning, I'll talk to Sir Tom Hatt. There's something he could tell you that'd shock you. Believe it or not, he used to be a signalman. We don't have much work tomorrow. Because of that, I'll ask him if he can tell you the story. Until then, get some sleep, okay? Okay, Edward. I'll try. Thank you.